Welcome, this is Ryan. I just wanted to show you something really quick. A really stupid, simple way to get edges like that and points like this. It's so quick. Watch this. I'm going to backtrack. You can see just how fast that actually happens. And then you'll be probably left with a few questions of how'd you go from here to there in one step? Well, that's what I want to show you. So I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to just clone this. So I'm working on another one over here. Or I've got this other one, basically, that I can kind of compare it to. And let's go over here and um, undo this. So the way this works, the way we get this level of edging, just takes us thinking things through on a kind of another level. So we start off with the move brush, but the move brush as you and I use it by default, it doesn't have a very clean edge. It uses um, a curve to approximate what you want out of the form. And this is one of the ways in which ZBrush in the early days would optimize its behavior so that it could do the impossible with the computers that existed at that time, which ZBrush was ahead of its time. I worked with companies where they literally said we tried for six months to develop what ZBrush did and we determined it was absolutely impossible. Because it was. It was impossible in OpenGL. It was impossible according to the tool set that was out there. Somebody needed to say, no, it's not impossible. You just need to rethink your basics. And your basics in terms of OpenGL and various other things, algorithms and whatnot. That's what Ofer did. So one of those things that he did is he created this algorithm th that kind of approximates or simplifies form so that you can work inside of ZBrush at 60 frames a second and not have full precision. When you want full precision, you come in here and you say, hey, I want AccuCurve on. And then this is much more reflective of your direction and what you're doing. You and I today, we don't have those hardware limitations they had back in the old days. So AccuCurve to us, it just means, hey, I get a sharp point. <laughs> That's it. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say, hey, let's get a sharp point. Then I'm going to move over to transpose. And I can transpose from the center, right, to flatten this out. But you also can just transpose out like that. And voila you've got your thickness. So it's two steps. Everything I'm showing you right now is two steps. It's move with AccuCurve, pull up, right? Go into transpose, draw out your transpose, and pull it in. Now, the problem we have in this particular case, sometimes you can smooth that out, but it would be better to not have that problem in the beginning and just simply place these peaks approximately where you're going to want the width of that to be anyways. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to say I want it to be about this wide. I pull it up. I can pull it out, but right there. Then I'll go move. I'll just go right on that line so you can see that a little better. Press shift and I draw in. And there you go. Any little tiny bit that I need to correct you're going to be much better off correcting it there. And then if you need to push that even further or get it a little bit tighter, there's various ways you can do that, including this neat little feature with transpose line. I'm not even sure if you saw what I was doing. But see how I'm kind of scaling the width of this back and forth? This transpose line, at its root, at its root, you'll see a little straight edge like that. If you take that straight edge, I'm making it in green now, and you click there and you go up or down, then this basically tells Transpose to start to trim or clip the surface in whatever direction you're moving. So, see how I've got that little bar? I'm going to click in there and I'm going to left and right, and it's just clipping. It'll clip in the orientation of transpose. Isn't that sweet? All kinds of crazy things you can do in ZBrush. Make sure you select the center. There we go. Oh, see how I'm off? 
I gotta draw it back out. There we go. All right. Just thought I would share that with you because now once you've got it with that hard edge, you come back into move. Things can start to keep their form. You can come into the back here. You can say we start to pluck this now. You work with perspective off, turn down here. You can kind of get a better visual indicator of it. And then one last thing, because I like to make sure that you kind of see how everything in ZBrush is a system and it all combines. Did you see that? That was with Snake Hook. So there's all kinds of things that you can do. Nice, clean, hard edges. And you know what? I didn't go into Z Modeler. I didn't go into anything else. I used Move, Snake Hook, and I used Transpose. And my workflow was the key. I just had a nice clear workflow. And hope you enjoyed. Have fun. Happy Z brushing. Talk to you later.